it is Thanksgiving week. So we're all ready to bake up and cook up all of our favorites from the turkey to the mashed potatoes to the casseroles to the pies, right? Well, I thought, what can I do that's a little bit outside the box? And I kept going back and forth between sort of the three favorites when it comes to dessert, right? We've got pumpkin pie, apple pie, pecan pie, pecan pie, however you say it. So I thought, what if I found a way to sort of combine all three? Stay with me here. I'm gonna make what I'm gonna call a Thanksgiving trifle, and it's gonna combine the flavors of all three of those. So let's get started, because there are several steps here. We're gonna start with a basic spice cake. And you know, because we're gonna make a trifle and put tons of stuff in it, we don't need to do this from scratch. Go ahead if you want to, but there is no problem with starting with a box cake mix, which is what I'm gonna do. And then to that, we're just gonna add the ingredients that are right here on the back of the box. It's just water, oil, and eggs. So we're gonna add one cup of water, I already got this measured out. After that, we're gonna do a half cup of oil. And then I've already, for the sake of timing, cracked my three eggs. And by the way, just for baking, you probably heard this before, you want room temperature eggs anyway. So I've got those good to go. Three eggs right there. And then I'm just gonna get this mixer going. You're gonna wanna beat it on high, medium high, for two minutes. You want it to get nice and airy and fluffy. And then we're gonna talk about why I'm using this particular baking sheet. Okay, pretty good. All nice and fluffy and ready to go into our pan. So I've got what they call like a half sheet pan here. And the reason I'm doing that, you could absolutely just put it in two cake pans, you can put it in a 13 by nine, whatever you'd like. But the reason I'm doing it in this, because I'm gonna cut them up into little squares for the trifle, this just makes it so much easier because it'll be much easier to get those little squares. By the way, the spice cake smells so good. Definitely smells like the holidays. So I'm just gonna spread this out into the pan and I have my oven heating for 350 degrees. Looking good. And once I get this all spread out, I'm just gonna pop it into the oven for about 16 to 20 minutes. You wanna keep an eye on it. Okay, I have this nice and even all spread out in my pan. And then we will move on to our next step of this trifle. Okay, we are moving on to the next step now. We've got the cake out of the oven. It smells wonderful in here. It's cooling. We're gonna cut it up into cubes later, but we're now going to make the pumpkin mousse. That's gonna be one of the layers of the trifle. So in here, I already have two blocks of softened cream cheese. Those are eight ounces each, so a total of 16 ounces, and then a cup and a half of powdered sugar. So I wanna get that going and get it really, really smooth before we add our pumpkin and spices. So let's do that. That is nice and smooth. So we're gonna add in a can of pumpkin, not pumpkin pie filling, because we're adding our own spices and flavoring. So just a can of pumpkin, 15 ounces or so. And then I'm gonna add a little vanilla and cinnamon. All right, got most of the pumpkin out there. Now let's do a teaspoon of vanilla and a teaspoon of cinnamon. Got the cinnamon and then the vanilla, and then we're gonna make this all smooth and that layer will be finished. Okay, this looks great. Nice and creamy, very pumpkin-y. I can smell all the spices. So the last step for this one, we're gonna just add in some whipped topping. And we're gonna save some of this to do for the layers as well. So I'm probably gonna do hmm, about three quarters of this tub. All right, I'm gonna fold this in. And then once this is really incorporated, I'm gonna pop this in the fridge while I slice up the cake into those little squares. And then we'll be on to our final step of putting it all together. Okay, we are on to our final step to put this trifle all together. We've got our spice cake, our pumpkin mousse, we've got apple, caramel, pecans, and whipped topping. All of the Thanksgiving flavors all together in this bowl. So let's get started. This, by the way, turned out great in that sheet pan. I just want a nice little bottom layer there. And you know, the key to the trifle is you wanna make sure that you've got all of the layers going all the way out to the edge so that when you're looking at from the side, you can see all of the layers. Okay, next layer is going to be this pumpkin mousse. And I'm just gonna scoop this on and then I'm gonna make sure that I get a little bit out to the edge. So I'm gonna do that and then we're gonna move on to our next layer, which is apples. Now it's time for some apples. I did another step to make it easy by buying apples in a can. It's fine, it's just apple pie filling. So we're gonna dot some on here. And then on top of that, I'm going to sprinkle a few pecans. We gotta get the pecan pie flavor in here, right? All right, so I've got some apples in there. And I did, they are pretty big. And I'm gonna use some on the top, uh, but I cut these up. Cause you don't wanna just have a whole bite of a pecan. I mean, maybe you do, but not in this trifle. And those are our layers. 
could we get any other flavors in there? So I'm just gonna keep filling this up to the top and then we're gonna finish it off. Now we are on to the very top layer and I'm gonna just put some whipped topping on there and then spread it all out to the edge. Now, I just had some of this left in the fridge. It's just caramel sundae topping. So I'm just gonna do a swirl of this, because why not add more? Right, I'm just gonna do a little drizzle like that, make it look pretty. And then the very last thing, I'm gonna put some more of those pecans sprinkled right on top. And there we have our Thanksgiving trifle. This will certainly please everyone because it's got every flavor in it, right? Hope you give this a try for Thanksgiving. Cheers, everyone.